function here and we are going to find out a little bit more about sword fighting. We're going to get to the point with Anthony and Richard from Arma Guam right here on the iLife with me, Malafunction. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, so Chris, uh, what we're going to learn today is the long sword. And essentially, I'm going to just show you uh, some of the basic principles about uh, fencing with a long sword. Of course, uh, this is a fencing style. This is a fencing weapon. Uh, of course, most of uh, your viewers are probably familiar with Olympic-style fencing. Uh, but this, that's more the French school. This is more the German school of fencing. The first is Von Tag. Uh, that's German for from the roof. And that's basically this, OK? Put it above your head, for starters, OK? Uh, you want to make sure that, uh, okay, put it a little out in front of you. Okay, the reason for that is if you put it too close to your head, and I come in and I slam it, oh. it would go right in, your cross guard would go right into your head. So you want your cross guard a little higher, okay? And uh, so that's the first guard, bomb tag from the roof. All right, good, good. Uh, the second guard is oaks, or the ox. It's uh, basically called that because when you assume this stance, uh, it looks like you're pulling the reins of an ox, okay? Just like that, okay? And uh, you want it, uh, you want the cross guard basically near your face, but not so close to it. Maybe just a little ahead of your face in case it gets hit. Once again, you want to protect yourself from getting nailed with your own cross guard. Okay, raise your arms up. Raise them up. Okay, go down. Oh, and then come over there? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. And then the third one is the flug or the plow, and that's essentially where you're holding it at waist level. Okay? Okay. And so you hold it at waist level here, put a little more to the side, okay? Uh, a couple things about uh, the flug, essentially. Um, also, the tip, you want to make sure you're pointing it at your opponent's face. Uh, okay. There you go. Always point the tip towards your opponent's face or a part of your opponent's body. Okay, you here? Good. The fourth uh, guard is Albert or the fool. That's what they call it. And that's essentially when you put your sword all the way down. Okay? okay. So it's pointed to the ground, 45, uh, about 45 degrees out. Uh, this is a very deceiving guard. Okay? Uh, for example, if you go to bomb tag, go to bomb tag from the roof. Okay? Uh, start approaching me. Just with one step, I can hit you already. Okay. So when you strike with the sword, you should start in a guard, either in the four I showed you, okay. and you should end in a guard, in particular, either in Weichel Hut, Change Guard, or Middle Hut, okay? So the different guards are basically set-ups and uh, rappels, kind of. You start with one, you strike again. That is correct, okay? Now the other thing about guards is when you're in Z-Fecton, and you're out of distance, like we were, just assume a guard, any guard, okay? The idea is, when you come towards your opponent, okay, you want to be changing guards, okay? You don't want to just charge in this way, because pretty much I can figure out, all right, he's going to strike me vertically with an overhaul, and I will develop a counter very quickly, and your attack will be thwarted. Strike! Oh, yeah. Strike! Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, uh, oh, 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 he's switching it up there, boom. Yeah. Okay, now okay. Try. bring it to crown. All right. Under, and then like, go like that. Right. Good. Hoo Ready, fight. Ready, fight. Really just, really just trying to keep this guy away from me, because that one in the leg hurt. And I pretty much forgot to know all the stuff he showed me. Oh, oh. there you go. <laughs> and well, I'll see you. <laughs> well, I just want to thank Chris for uh, coming out and giving us this opportunity to uh, introduce uh, Arma Guam uh, to the uh, larger Guam community. And essentially, if you're interested, uh, please check out our website, www.arma.org, uh, or check us out on Facebook. Yeah, so uh, nothing to see here but us swordsmen. I'm the Chamorro Zorro, <laughs> and I'll see you next week on the iLife. Adios. All right, all right.